Hello everybody, and welcome to a Dirt Your Hooves quick tutorial. So, I will be doing a video on the Osprey itself, um, but the Osprey has come out, and it's been out for a few days, and I just couldn't help but get it. So, some people have been asking questions, like, um, why does it go into a vortex state, um, I'm having certain problems. Um, not so sure. I've had a couple issues myself, but it's probably because I'm learning how to fly it. And this thing is fun to fly. So I'm going to answer a really quick question about the nacelles. So how do you rotate the nacelles? So from the outside, it says that you're supposed to bind a flap, uh, flap 4. So let's go ahead and let's just go to our settings really quick. So if we go to control options, we hit the escape key to get there. And I have bound a key on my my uh, HOTUS throttle. So there's my throttle. And I've actually bound a key. Now I bound... Where's the key? I bound that key. Not that key. It's hiding all the way around the corner. So I've got a video of me flipping the switch. But so what you're supposed to... Bind it to is increase cowl flap and decrease well I've set mine to button 18 and button 19 so you actually have a bind a key it would be great to bind a key on something other than your keyboard because I don't know why it wasn't working on my keyboard but it has to be increase and decrease cowl flap 4 so I bound a key on there and that took care of it and I just hit OK because I already found the key and I resume it and so as I toggle the switch my nacelles rotate and they'll rotate up and down and I don't really want them rotating too far so when I'm inside the cockpit I'm looking down <laughs> I'm looking down. This mouse is so touchy. I'm looking down here at this display and it says 83 degrees and I can change it to 79. The lower the number outside of 90, I mean it's, remember, angles in math. 90 degrees is 90 degrees straight up. It's a right angle. So that's going to take us straight up. Zero degrees is going to take us forward. Now, there was something else um, in the manual about like the nacelles are between, I think it was like 30 and 40 degrees, and the plane will go into a vortex ring state if you try and switch the nacelles that way. So what I've been doing for the short amount of time that I've been flying this great aircraft is, like for example, on 90 you can take off. So let's try that. Let's give it a little bit of throttle gently. Uh, still learning this thing and so it takes off like a helicopter straight up at 90 degrees right and then we can nose down it a little bit right and gently go forward and I'm gonna leave the gears down for right now and so I want to go a little faster so the other way let's say um, how about 62 degrees and that'll give me some more forward speed and then I just want to watch my speed because I don't want to overstress the aircraft because if you drop your nose down like as if you were flying a helicopter it will turn on you and you can gently the higher you go watch your speed watch your speed trust me watch your speed this thing is a trip to fly. Um, watch your speed so you don't get a sink rate error. But see, I've put my nacelles forward a little bit. And if I want more, I just keep dropping them gradually. See more. Let's bring those gears up. And I want to watch my speed. And I'm still not at 90. See, I'm still not at 90. But I want to watch my speed. Right. 
15, 216. So we should probably slow down a little bit there. Not too much. 191, I guess, is fine. Delta and I can... Delta Echo Romeo, Papa, minus Yankee, yeah. leaving my airspace frequency change. And then to zero. Dover Tower, Derp Y, Delta Echo Romeo, Papa, minus Yankee frequency change. And there you have it. And now the nacelles are at 90 degrees. So that's pretty much it. I just had to bind the key. And with that key bound, I can now have them at 90 degrees. And you just do the opposite to rotate them out. But I'm going to say from what I've discovered, you want to come in for your landing before you... You, know, you want to set yourself up for your landing. I'm not sure exactly what the manual says. But don't try and rotate the cells like above 150 knots, I've noticed. Because it just like, you know, says you overstress the aircraft. So that's pretty much it. And that's the Osprey. And that's how to rotate the cells forward. So I'm just going to say when you rotate them backwards, just be careful. Try and keep the knots lower. You know, higher than 50 or 60 if you want to rotate them back, but not too much higher than like 100 and something because it you tend to overstress the aircraft. So I hope that helps anyone who may have been having some issues. And I wanted to say thanks for watching Derp Your Hoods, and I look forward to seeing you guys in the skies.